This game seems to have everything it takes to be a good game. It looks like one, I mean, it plays like one, it walks like one, and talks like one, too, woo woo! But it doesn't take long to realize that it's missing one key ingredient for any good game. It's just not much fun. It's the Jungle Book, Mowgli's Wild Adventure. Because pressing switches, pretty wild, man cub. So unlike Aladdin, The Lion King, and a lot of Disney's TV properties, Jungle Book hasn't had much success in video games. But there was a Super Nintendo game that wasn't very good, and it was equally not very good on the Sega Genesis. Which is a shame, because it's one of my favorite Disney movies. And not only that, I think the premise is ideal for a video game. Running through the jungle, escaping monkeys and snakes. You can do a lot of cool stuff with that. This game does switches. So anyway, he plays the man-cub himself, Mowgli, and the game pretty much follows the story of the movie. I say pretty much because the only real story progression here are these still photos, which... I mean, for something to progress, it has to move. Like, movement is part of the whole progression thing. Nonetheless, you run and jump through more than 20 levels inspired by the movie, and, uh, you know, escape monkeys and snakes. The game gets a lot of stuff right, but the presentation, for starters, this is a gorgeous Game Boy Color game. In fact, it almost looks like a Game Boy Advance game. There's some fantastic use of color, awesome sprite work, but the game really gets the look of The Jungle Book, which is good, because it's a beautiful movie. And even though you're always in the jungle, the locations actually have some diversity, and that's a really nice touch. Unfortunately, the gameplay has less diversity. But like I said, it's hard to criticize a game like this, because of all the things it gets right, but it's never very much fun, and it gets less fun as you play. That's because, as beautiful as the levels can be, their actual designs aren't very good. Like, half this game is just pressing a switch and then running to get through the door it opened. And if you don't, guess what? Go push the switch again. That gets irritating in the first few levels, and it's like all the game does. And it's not just that you know, the switch pushing idea is overused, it's also a lot harder than it needs to be, and the game's controls are stiff. And that means you will be pushing them several times. And I think for me, that might have been the most frustrating thing of all, the way it controls. I mean, platformers are based entirely on movement, so movement is kind of important in a platformer. It needs to be smooth and fluid and responsive. This game is none of those things. I mean, it's not a disaster or anything, it's just stiff. And combined with the pointless difficulty and the boring level design, it sort of just coalesces into this one thick, vine-tangled jungle of bleh. It's, and that's not the kind of jungle you want to be in. That jungle can burn to the ground, for all I care. You know, this is kind of a deceiving game. I mean, it looks beautiful, it has an awesome soundtrack, it's a nice length. That's all icing on a very average cake. And that's the thing, you bite into this game, and you're totally underwhelmed. The gameplay is boring, the controls are a bit stiff, I mean, there's even problems with hit detection and slowdown, technical issues like that. I mean, it's not a bad game by any means, but the most you can say about The Jungle Book, Mowgli's Wild Adventure, is that it's just good enough to not suck. It has the bare necessities. I'd, I'd rather just have the prickly pear. Big thanks to our good friend Kevin from Jersey City, New Jersey, for sending this to the show.